All right, let's do a little test, you and I. All right, you're going to tell me what you read on screen right now. Driver. Yeah, I'm proud of you. That's good. That's good. That that means you you know how to change letters with numbers. That's called lead speak. Now, I'm going to give you another example and you're going to tell me what you read. Now, if you said dead mouse, congratulations, that's another win for you. That's another star for you. Now, I'm going to step up the difficulty a little bit. I'm going to ask you, how would you pronounce this channel name? Which, uh, if you follow it a little bit, you should say Ratmate. Congrats. That's, that's a third win for you. You're on a roll. So, uh, uh, time for your final test. This. <laughs> how do you pronounce this? If you said Dr. At, congratulations, you passed the test fully, and you're, you're better than most people. Now, unfortunately, most people do not answer that, and uh, I can't blame them, I can't blame them. It's not exactly the most intuitive name, but I figured today I'd give a bit of a, an insight on why that's my name, and while also trying to find a specific type of fish, uh, I'm searching for Mahi Mahis. I've been told there were some here, uh, there's not any. But anyway, so depending if you found this video by luck and- <gasps> Mahi, Mahi! Okay, uh, so depending if you found this video by luck, know me from my other channel called, well, Dr. At, or just know me extensively, I'm gonna give a bit of a setting. So, fun fact about me, I'm French. I'm, I'm terribly sorry, there's, there's nothing I can do to fix it. And if there's two things I love, it's rats and ponds. <laughs> and so as a result, when I was searching for a name I could use online, I figured, you know, I might as well make it a pun about rats. And at the time when I started making videos on YouTube, I was on my way to get a doctorate. Because if you don't know, I'm actually one of the rare Minecraft YouTubers that uh, didn't drop out. And I actually have a computer science engineering degree. And originally that engineering degree was supposed to turn into a PhD. You know, just like I wanted to do cool science with computers and be like that one guy in a lab coat uh, in front of a computer, even though that makes no sense. <laughs> I just realized how, <laughs> how big that chorus. <laughs> <laughs> That's impressive. But anyway, so yeah, originally I wanted to go for a PhD, have a doctorate, and if you're keen id, I'd, I don't know, if you're attentive, you'll find that uh, doctorate sounds a lot like doctorate. Well, that's because that's just doctorate. It's, it's, it's the French word for doctorate. Now, a rat with a PhD, aka a doctorate, that would make it a doctorate, which is the origin of my name. But as you can guess, that's taken everywhere. And I'm not one to be like, doctorate was taken or doctorate, call me doctorate. Or some, I mean, actually, please do call me Dr. Rat instead of Dr. Forty. But my point is, I wasn't going to put something else in front of my name because I just, it just didn't feel right. So instead, I decided to resort to the classic 2012 Call of Duty lobby technique, which is either adding XXs or a number inside of your name, which I, you know, Xs are cool and old, but it's like XX, Dr. Rat, XX. Come on, really? <laughs> and so this is the second part where it needs a bit of context because you're gonna be like, but dude, why why not just put a, a zero instead of the O or other things? Was it already taken? No, it wasn't. Um, but I'm gonna be honest with you, that's, that, that just sounds lame. So I wanted to put emphasis on the rat part because that's really the part that was dear to my heart. And I couldn't replace the R with anything because I don't know any number that looks like an R. And same for the T, I don't know any number that looks like a T. So. I went with the A, and sometimes, you know, you, you put a 4 instead of A. And so as a result, by trying to put emphasis on the red part, I just brought down havoc on my name. Now again, depending if you know me or not, you may also know that I don't particularly like being called Doctor, but why is that? That's literally the point of your name, a rat with a doctorate, a doctor rat. Well, first, the part that's really important again is the rat part. The rest is just, just a pun. And second, I'm sorry, but I didn't get my doctorate. So it feels a bit uncomfortable being called a doctor. Now, why did I give up on the PhD and why would I risk making my name obsolete? Or at least, I guess, just just not ringing true. Well, back when I was still in engineering school on the last year, we had a tiny bit of a project that, ooh, is a church. That, that we, didn't, we didn't make a church, that wasn't the project. But um, the project was basically, we would have two weeks to experience what being a doctor a researcher, basically someone with a PhD would be like. And um, another, there's so many fun facts about me, but another little fun fact, <laughs> another little fun fact is that uh, I'm terrible at reading. I'm, I'm reading, I mean, I'm, I was good at reading, but then I, I stopped. I don't know why. Um, which, in turn, uh, made those two weeks of my life 
the most painful ever. They were an absolute nightmare and reading so many articles, doing so much research, research is fine, research is fine, but when it's something that you're not necessarily, I mean, I'm passionate about programming and everything like that, and I'm passionate about computer science, but for some reason, those two weeks were a nightmare. Such a nightmare that after those two weeks, I was, uh, yeah, no, I'm done. I'm, I'm not getting a doctorate. <laughs> Screw that. Which now, technically, depending on how strict you are, uh, would make me an imposter or fraud. And for some reason, I don't really like that because, you know, we don't need any Among Us. But now you may tell yourself, okay, just just rat. It's easy. Uh, well, no, wrong. <laughs> you're, you're wrong. You're dead wrong. Uh, there's another subtlety, which I didn't tell you. I am very specific about how my name is capitalized. See, because I don't really have a doctorate, I don't feel entitled to putting capitals in my name. So that's why when I see someone writing my name Dr. Rat with a capital D, I'm, I'm gonna ask that to be lowercase. But for rats, it's the complete opposite. I see a rat, that's a rat. See, since rat is a common name for the animal, I'm always like, hey, you know, just, uh, we might need to make a difference. So, you know, I know that I'm actually being called here. So instead of it being always all lowercase or just capitalizing the first letter, I'm gonna ask for all caps. I don't know, it just may be my gut complex or the fact that I really like how it stands and how it looks, but rat all caps just, just, you know, that's just, yeah, that's just subtlety behind it. So yeah, now you know a little bit more about my name, you know a little bit more about my preferences, you know everything, you're not gonna make the mistake anymore, you're not gonna call me Dr. Forty. And uh, the only thing you don't know is why I love rats so much, but uh, that's gonna be for another one. Uh, in the meantime, I got my Mahi Mahi uh, in my aquarium, so uh, I'm happy.